Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, we're going to be using my updated free tweaking utility to boost your FPS, lower your latency, lower your ping, and more. But before we start the video, I want to tell you guys about tools that can completely optimize your PC for the best possible performance and lowest possible latency. Make sure to check out exmtweaks.com where you can find my premium and standard tweaking utilities. We have over 2,000 reviews on our Discord server and website combined. So head over to exmtweaks.com to unlock your PC's full potential. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is downloading the utility. So simply go to the description of any of my videos. In here, you can find download the tweaks or a Discord link and just press on that. This will take you to my Discord server. And in here, simply navigate over to the free tweaking utility category. In here, you should find exm free tweaking utility v if there's already a newer version out then just use that but if there isn't press on the download link and this will take you to a google drive in here simply right click on exm free tweaking utility v6 and press download while it's downloading i want to tell you guys something get this video to 2000 likes and get me to 24,000 subs and i'll drop a new version of the utility with a bunch of new all right so it should show up at the top uh, right corner right here so just press on it so this little menu should show up and just exit out of any tabs or just minimize them that you have in the background and simply drag this over to your desktop and that's how you extract it all right so now we're going to open the utility so simply right click on it and run it as administrator also make sure to put it into full screen or the menu will look weird but yeah in the welcome screen just press any key to continue on your keyboard and now it's time for something very important, a restore point. So what a restore point is, it will basically allow you to revert all of the tweaks back to normal. So yeah, just press one on your keyboard and enter. And this will create a restore point, which should take like a minute, but I'll skip to when it's finished. All right, so just finished, press okay. And now we'll download a bunch of resources, which are basically apps that the utility uses. So just press okay. It's gonna finish downloading them soon. Yeah, press okay again. And now we're finally in the menu. So as you can see, here you have 15 different categories of optimizations and a bunch of other buttons, but I'm just gonna show you how to use the utility the correct way. So the first thing that we have is general optimization. So just press one followed by enter. And in here, all you have to do is press one and enter again, and it will apply all of the general optimizations except one which is going to be disabling mitigations. So mitigations are basically protections or security features against memory-based attacks, but they also come at a certain performance cost. So if you don't browse any shady websites or download any suspicious things on your PC, then you can feel free to disable them. I'll just press uh, one and enter since I want to disable them. All right, so that's everything you have for general optimizations. After that, we have mouse and keyboard optimization. So just press two and enter. So the first thing that we have in here is applying a bunch of registry optimizations. So yeah. That's everything you have to do for the first step. The second step is mouse and keyboard out of queue size. So in here, you have three different options, which is 14, 17, and 20. And the way you find out whichever one of these options you should use is press T, go to performance. And once you're in here, and in here, find your CPU. So basically, comment your CPU down below under this YouTube video, and I'll tell you whichever one of these options you should use. So I personally have a 13th gen uh, Intel Core i7, which is a high-end CPU. So yeah, one, and boom. So next we have Windows tweaks. So in here you have about 20 options and uh, there's also an apply all button. So if you wish to go through these one by one, feel free to, for example, if you don't want to disable Bluetooth, but if you end up accidentally disabling it, just press R and in here uh, you can re-enable it if you press six or other things. So I'm just gonna press the apply all button in Windows. All right, so here you just wanna press okay. And now press Y to confirm and it's gonna apply all the tweaks. And uh, then it will open this little game mode menu. So if you're on Windows 11, press enable. And if you're on Windows 10, then disable it. But yeah, I'm just gonna press one. And uh, now it will open Windows Update Blocker and this little menu. So first I'll go through Windows Update Blocker. So what this does, it basically disables Windows updates from running in the background. And the reason why I want to do this is because if a Windows update randomly starts in the background, it will completely kill your performance. But I generally just recommend installing an update every few months or so, and then make sure to do the tweaks again because it resets them. But yeah, just press apply now, exit out of this. And now we have the performance options, which this will basically allow you to disable a bunch of animations and more. In here, simply just copy my settings. So just press adjust for best performance, then custom and uh, show window context while dragging. This is optional, but I just like how it looks and it doesn't affect performance that much. Show thumbnails instead of icons. This is a must have if, and smooth edges on screen fonts. So yeah, just press apply. So yeah, that's everything for the Windows tweaks. 
Next, we have PC Clean, which this is basically going to clean all of the temporary files, etc. So first we have uh, clean temporary device data and it should boom. That's all you have to do. And after that, we have Windows Clean Manager, which this will open this little built-in Windows app. So in here, just select your C drive or the drive you have installed your Windows on. So just press OK. And in here, basically select all of the options, simply press OK, and it will delete all of the files. So I'll just let this run. It will take a few seconds. All right, that's everything for the clean category. After that, we have memory optimizations, which I've actually reworked. So in here, all you have to do is select your amount of RAM. If you don't know how much RAM you have, open Task Manager. I'll add a shortcut in there when I drop the utility, so my bad for that. So just go to Performance, Memory, and as you can see, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, so I'm just gonna press six, and it's gonna adjust a few settings depending on how much RAM you have, and yeah. That's basically all you have to do. Now, it's time for disabling startup services. This is slightly more of a tricky one, but I'll walk you through how to use it. So this will open up the Autoruns app, but in here, simply go over to the logon category. And in here, you wanna disable everything. So uncheck it, except your antivirus, CMD, and these NA files, which are just security files or something like that. So I don't recommend disabling them. And all right, and after that, you can simply just close it. It will apply all the changes, boom. After that, we have GPU tweaks, which this is a really simple one. You just select which type of GPU you have. I'm pretty sure all of you guys know, but in case you don't know, just open Task Manager. I'm gonna add another shortcut for that, my bad. And in here, all you have to do is just select your GPU. So if you don't know what type of GPU you have, just go to Task Manager. Sorry for not adding the shortcut here. I'm just gonna add that later when I release the utility. But yeah, as you can see, I have an Nvidia GPU, so I'm just gonna press one and it's gonna do everything for me. In here, press okay. Now, it's time for CPU tweaks, which is a really similar thing. In here, uh, you just select which type of CPU you have. Uh, I personally have an Intel CPU, so I'm just gonna press two. And that's everything. After that, we have USB tweaks, which is a one button optimization. All you have to do is just press nine and it will apply all the USB tweaks. So next we have power tweaks. And if you have any overheating issues on your PC, then I don't recommend doing these. So just skip them, but otherwise just press 10. So first we have applying the EXM power plant. So just press one. As you can see here, you just have to select it, but I'm personally just gonna stick to my premium power plant since it's better, but yeah. If you have any like extra power plants that you don't want, you can simply just uh, press on change plan settings and delete them. Since power plants sometimes randomly switch, I don't know why. But yeah, that's all you have to do. After that, we have disable power throttling and certain power saving features. All you have to do. Then we have disabling power telemetry, which is this Microsoft collecting data on how much, how much power your PC uses. Then we have deleting the default power plants. And lastly, we have disabling hibernation and fast startup, which these are actually bad for your PC. I highly recommend just normally shutting off your PC, not using anything like sleep. But yeah, boom, that's everything for power tweaks. Now it's time for system debloat, which in here you have 10 options and another apply all button. If you, for example, use things like game DVR or the Xbox game board or stuff like that, then go through these one by one and don't disable them. But I'm personally just gonna press apply all. So boom, but I'm just gonna skip to when it's finished. All right, so that finished. It probably took like two minutes because there's a lot of things I've actually changed here in this update, but yeah. And the 12th option is going to be storage tweaks. So first we have trimming and defragmenting your drives. So uh, we have my SSD and simply just press optimize and this will trim it, boom. And yeah, that's everything. So simply just close it. If you wanna defragment your hard drive, you can do it as well, but this will take a while, like an hour or maybe even more, but I'll just close it and press any key to continue. Now we have uh, enable user write cache. Uh, storage tweak then we have disable SSD power savings just skip this if you don't have a SSD but this will disable some power saving features on SSDs and yeah all right so after that we have fixing corrupted files so simply just press 13 and this is a one button optimization so just press one followed by enter in the menu and it will uh, run this which will take a few minutes so just let that run I'll skip to when it's finished for me all right, so it just finished and yeah, that's everything for fixed disk. So just go back to menu. And next we have a new category, which is setting uh, full screen optimizations. And in here, simply select whichever Windows version are you on. So if you're on Windows 10, press one. And if you're on Windows 11, press two. So I'm personally on Windows 11, so I'm going to be pressing that. I already have deleted the value before, so don't worry if it says an error here, that's fine. And the last option that we have is the updated EXM network tweaking utility. So simply press 15. 
on the warning press any key to continue and now i highly recommend making another restore point so i'm just gonna skip to when it's finished all right so it just applied and now we're in the menu so i already made a video about this the only thing that i have changed is i added the disabled toretto tunneling and i also fixed the way some of the tweaks apply so i just recommend uh, watching the tutorial so we we'll just press t it will open uh, this video and as you can see you can just skip to here and uh, watch the tutorial so yeah but yeah that's everything for the tweaks make sure to restart your pc after using the tweaks because they won't apply properly if you don't also i want to thank you guys for 100k discord members and all of the recent support it means a lot to me like trust me you guys have changed my life that's all i want to say I, I cannot thank you guys enough but yeah i love you bye